Most Americans caffeinate. The best Americans caffeinate in style. I'm headed into San Julian, like most days, to get the best cup of coffee in Central Florida, and I'm thrilled to have you join me this coming Thursday for your own complimentary latte. Santiago, how are you? Good Hi, to see you, man. How are you, buddy? Good. Everything good? I say we're going positive. You know, I think good. We're looking good. We're awesome. Looking better, so. I'm curious, why why coffee? Why the coffee shop? 2016, my wife and I were coffee lovers, first of all. Uh, we met a, uh, a farmer from Colombia. He actually lives here in St. Cloud. Okay. And we asked him hey, about the coffee. And he said, hey, I sell coffee. You know, I roasted here locally in St. Cloud, and we started an online coffee business. And my wife always wanted to have a coffee shop, and that's sort of our showcase of the coffee to the world. Okay. You can't sell coffee and not want to taste it, and, and then you won't know what it's like or what you taste it. Right. So we it took us three years, so 2016, and then 2019, we started the process. It's really long. And then February 6th of this year, we opened our doors for the first time. You opened February 6th. That was right at the beginning of the pandemic. Right, well, you, we were hearing about it, but I've heard you know, SARS before this, and it never made it to our shores. Right. Or if it did, it was contained. And the 16th, that week of the 16th, a police officer walks in and hands me a state order, a governor signed executive order, saying you could only serve customers for takeout. And wow. So we tried it. We were... Well, not known. We didn't have it. We didn't have a chance to establish our delivery platforms or anything. And our sales went from I don't know. We were steady doing 500, 400 a day back then to like 50, 60 dollars. So wow. And that was just one way. Plus, I have an elderly grandmother at home, and I was concerned for her health. I mean, I didn't know how what this thing was like. So right. We decided to close on the 23rd of March. For about a month we closed, but then you get to a point where you have to choose between physical health and not choose or find that balance. Sure. And economic health. So we decided to open the doors because some income was better than no income. This is a pour over V60. Nice. Salute. Oh, but that is really good. It's amazing. You know, and we talked about as well, what I love about your coffee is there's, there's no bitter, and there's no aftertaste, there's no bitter taste. It's so smooth and, and has such rich flavors for being mm. smooth. This one is specially roasted for a filter coffee, which we just prepared. Okay. Uh, macchiato, which is specifically roasted for espresso. And we also calibrate that machine to taste every day, various times a day to try to get the most perfect cup of espresso. But not the, the humidity here in Florida, temperature changes, all that affects the taste of that coffee and how that machine. There's humidity here in Florida? <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, this is the time of year. Well, I can tell, you know, you guys, the, the love you pour into calibrating the machine multiple times a day, where the coffee's sourced, mm -hmm. how it's roasted, and we've had discussions of the the different types of, of roasting and, right. and it just really comes through. I, you know, I'm super excited to, uh, to uh, have uh, my client base and, and database come visit us next week and get to enjoy your, uh, your brew. And I'm thankful, thank you for supporting us. Oh. You know, we, it's been difficult. It's, not, it's never easy to open a business, you know? Right.